I'm responding to the article, Pitbull Attacks Owners When They Try to Dress in a Christmas Sweater, by Maya Chung of Inside Edition, posted January 2nd, 2017. Three people were injured by their own dog that savagely attacked his owners as they tried to dress in a Christmas sweater in Florida, in Florida Friday, police said. The dog, a pit bull mix, was reportedly angered when 52-year-old Brenda Guerrero of Tampa tried to put him in the Christmas sweater and he began mauling her. Guerrero's husband, Ismael Guerrero, tried to rescue his wife from the attack and that's when the pit bull, Scarface, began attacking him as well, according to reports. The couple's son, 22-year-old Antoine Harris, stabbed the dog in the neck and head in an attempt to stop the dog, and all three were able to escape when the pit bull turned on Harris, police said. Animal Control responded, shooting the pooch with both a tranquilizing gun and a taser before taking him away. Brenda Guerrero was taken to the hospital with severe but non-life-threatening inju injuries. Both her husband and Harris were injured, but the severity is unclear. First off, pit bulls are highly misunderstood. You've probably heard either that they are all that all pit bulls are dangerous and will attack at a moment's notice, or is that they are really nice and less scary to attack. In this case, it's hard to tell. I would say in this instance, the case leans both ways. If I were a dog, I sure as hell would not like to have an ugly star force on me, just because it looked cute. I usually hate ugly Christmas stories myself. To have force on me would really piss me off. But in all honesty, the dog attacking like that is wrong. But this is not typical behavior from Pitbull, no matter what people say. They were just trying to make him look cute. The, rea the reaction is wrong. Okay. Let's look at the response of how they subdued Scarface. Harris stabbed Scarface. How is that possibly right? And tranquilizing and tasing is overdoing it. Or is it? All three of them were in danger. It was the only way to end this nightmare. I invite you to make your opinion and share it with us. My email address is bipolaropposites119 at yahoo.com. I would love to hear from you.